I'm Brandon. Of course you are. And I'm Brian, your other <laughs> host here at Tux Comics. All right, so for this episode, we wanted to do something a little different. We usually talk about Marvel and DC a lot, so we wanted to talk about more independent comics. So That's this right. one is from Image Comics, uh-huh. and it's one of our favorite series of the year so far. It's from Jeff Lemire, and it's called Gideon Falls. Gideon Falls. Well, first off... I love Jeff Lemire. I've been liking a lot of his work. He's been doing a great job. Uh, you know, of course, a little bit of background on him. He He's worked at Marvel. He's worked at DC. He did Green Arrow at DC. He did Old Man Logan. Uh, also, he still does work. He, he still does. Them, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's been doing the current Century series. And Even though that's ending now. Did you hear yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's ending, unfortunately. I really liked it, too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it seems like that's going to be ending right now. Um, he also did his independent series Sweet Tooth. But I've been really engulfed with his more like recent work, Black Hammer. Oh yeah. That's yeah. where that's where he really shines. So I would definitely recommend some Jeff Lemire stuff. And of course, with Black Hammer, he's working on that with Dave Stewart, and Dave Stewart's our oh, other also artist on Gideon Falls. On Gideon yeah. Falls, mm-hmm. and Andrea uh, Sorrentino, yeah, who is working, who worked with him on, I believe it was, yeah, Old Man Logan and the Green Arrow series. Yeah, so that's really cool. Yeah, it's such they're... a great team to be working together. Like mm-hmm. the art and the story you know writing go together so well on this series that right. yeah it's a great creative team but there's something else that's really cool about this series overall that jeff's kind of been putting into place he's been building this series uh, according to him for quite a while over now. 20 years yeah over 20 so years. a cool part is if you haven't read this yet or if you have on the on the end of issue number one it kind of goes into a little like explanation from jeff lemire on how the story was kind of developed and how he's been working on it for so long and right. it's really interesting to read definitely yeah, recommend it's, checking that out it's worth checking out he really gets into the backstory first of all he really gets into how him and andrea got together um with uh, old man logan and said hey you know what when we're done here at marvel like let's do something like just you and me like we could probably do something really cool yeah. and he came up with this idea and of course over time uh jeff's past work has you know had some sort of ties to the work as well you know father fred and norton have been referenced as characters in previous jeff lemire oh, stories, that's cool which is really really cool which really carries on to this story but we want to talk about his new series which of course is Gideon Falls. Yeah so we're going to talk about the first story arc of this because they're past that now but we don't want to get too much into this episode so we want to talk about the first six issues which will be the first story arc or the first volume of the trade paperback. Right right and that is available at your local comic shop and of course on Amazon so you'll be able to get that. We'll leave a link below so you can find that but uh, I just love the way the setup is. I mean we open this first issue and we meet our characters Norton and uh, Father 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 Fred, Fred, or Father Fred, yes. Um, And of course, uh, you know, it's very interesting how how each of them is living their own individual lives and how they are kind of at the same, on opposite ends of the spectrum. One's balanced and the other one's unbalanced. Yeah, so that's one thing I really like about this series is that it's kind of this dual storytelling. Mm -hmm. You got this one side where you have Norton, who's this like insane guy you know he's a trash digger compulsed yeah Yeah. an ocd kind of guy and he's like digging through this trash and you're like okay why is he digging through this trash is it for a reason or is he just crazy it, 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 there's some things, of course, obviously, if, like we were saying, Jeff Lemire's influence to the story, he even was like the character Norton. That's how he came up with this idea, he said in that little interview, that basically he went from living in a rural town, a small town like Gideon Falls, yeah. and moved into a big city. Mm. And he said to himself, there's just garbage everywhere. Thing but you Norton. know there's a connection. You know, right. you, you know that at some point these two stories are going to intertwine. And, you know, that's what's so cool about it. It. As you're reading, you're like asking yourselves more and more questions instead right. of getting answers, you know? And, and, and that's what's really good about Lemire's writing. Exactly. So as we get yep. to understand who Father Fred is, he's coming into this small rural town known as Gideon Falls. He's actually coming in because he's being re- he's replacing the previous pastor. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, but there's still who this, died? Who died? But there's or so a mystery we, who think behind died. it. Yeah, yeah, they think he's dead. <laughs> but they're adding this supernatural, like you yeah. know 
uh, element to it. And like I said before, it's got a very southern gothic y feel to the storyline. Even here. the art is very gritty and it's gothic very gritty. a little too. Yeah, yeah it is. So. It is. So we get to meet her, and but she is kind of like this character who's kind of playing uh, like a like a kind of like a gal Friday to Norton, kind of like a, an assistant to Norton in a way where she's like, I want to help you, but at the same time, I want to indulge in what you're really going after here. She's trying to like get him to like get off this whole trash thing and to you know live a normal life, but he's so obsessed with you know finding you know whatever he he doesn't even know at this point you know mm -hmm. what he's looking for, but he right. knows that he has to look for it. And then of course it pulls back to Father Fred's story at this point because this is what happens with Lemire's work. He does this tandem of throwing you back yeah, and forth. Yeah, the dual the, storytelling is great. Well, it's very, series, very yeah. well thought out. So at this point, we go back to Father Fred and we get to meet uh, um, Jean Tremblay, who is kind of like this old lady who kind of helps at the church. Yeah. And he comes into the church and he's just getting comfortable. Um, but later that night, you know, uh, Father Fred's sleeping and He's, he he's, like sees a ghost. He sees like a ghost, right? He's, he 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 he's, he encounters what is supposedly the you know embodiment or like the astral form of Father Tom, yeah, and the priest who died, and the reason why, why Father, Father Fred is Fred. in Gideon Falls. Exactly, exactly. So, and he said, and he. He taunts Father Fred. He tells him, follow me. I want to show you something. And it's the middle of the night. Yeah, he's in his night. PJs. Yeah. He doesn't know what's going on. He's like, Father Fred, Father Tom, what are you doing here? Like, he's very confused and very lost. And, you know, this is actually at a point where his character, that's the kind of character Wilfred is at this point. He's lost. We don't really know too much about him. He's just rolled into town. But we, but as a lost individual yeah. and then at this point you know he kind of snaps too in the middle of this like dream that he's having and all of a sudden what does he see but he sees the big figure in the shape of an old barn oh that's right yeah field. and so yeah that's where we first get our first instance of the black, black barn. barn so this brings us to our topic question for this episode what, what is, is the black, black barn, barn? Yeah. yeah i mean this is a very interesting like setup i mean i i I, I don't want to get into it right now. We will get into it as we go through the story a little more. But, uh, I mean, it seems some, like some sort of gateway in a way, you know? Yeah, the Black Barn is definitely a very important part of this story. It's right. It's the main thing of this first story arc. Um, so it's a big part of the mystery. And so, yeah, when Father Fred sees this, it's a big thing because it just appears out of nowhere. He snaps too, right, in the field. And then the next thing we know, we're standing over the body. Yeah, of, there's a dead body. Of yeah. Jean Tremblay, the exactly old lady, the lady that helped him, in helped the church. him yep. at the church. Yeah. And so from there, you know, the police start to think that Father Fred is the person who killed him right. or so, killed her. So Sorry. they pull him in and they start interrogating him. This is the moment where we get to meet yet another character in Sheriff uh, Clara Miller. Yeah. So, and I feel like she's going to have a big part in this story. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. They show her interacting with Father Fred a lot. Right. And yeah, I mean, that's when we start to also see that Father Fred might have a little bit of a dark past. Yes, we do learn about his dark past. We understand that he's moved on from two parishes, most the most recent parish. He was also very out of out of his element there. Substance abuse yeah. is what we're talking about. And so he 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 does have that problem and that I believe is going to plague his character throughout this story for sure. Because it already does. There's times where he's he's. I mean, he been almost offered. got you know in trouble for murder just because of that. I, I he know. didn't even do and, anything. And then when he calls the parish to get help, they don't really care. Yeah, they, they're just like deal with it. Yeah, you, you, don't worry. be fine. Yeah. Did you do it? No. Okay, then don't worry about yeah. it. You're fine. It's like, but at luckily this, it works out for him. It does look work out for him because the deputy. But was, there was another murder. Yeah, there was just yeah, a, and so that's why he gets off the cave or right. off the hook. The, the person that they find murdered is Father Tom. Oh, that's correct. So that's, you know, like, so Father Fred is, like, giving them this story like he saw, you know, Father Tom, you know, even though he's supposed to be dead already, and they led him out to the farm, and then he saw the dead body. And they're mm -hmm. like, this guy's crazy. Like, Father Tom's been so dead, He's been you dead know? for two weeks. And but... then now, all of a sudden, they 
find a they dead find body, a and dead that's body. Father Tom. So we go back to the dual story setup where we're back on Norton, and we see that in his character at this point. You know, he he's he is conflicted internally, but externally he's very calm. Yeah, but this is also around the point where he realizes why he's collecting all these pieces. You know, right. And so that kind of motivates him even more. And, you know, from there, you know, his apartment gets robbed. Right. He, his apartment gets ransacked, yeah. basically. I mean, the whole place is turned upside down. And we don't really know who did this. Or you know, why. Or why. But And what, what the whole connection to the actual barn is and why this per But Norton and, seems to think that it has something to do with him collecting these pieces and him you know, getting a little too close to the truth. Right, right. So this is this intricate mystery that Jeff Lemire is building up for us at this point in the story. The doctor is heading home after looking over his files, getting an understanding of, you know, Norton's past. She sees... Oh yeah, the black barn. The black so barn. So this was a very cool part, a nice turn for the story. Because, you know, at this point, we still think, you know, is Norton crazy? Like, why? What's going on? We do know that Father Fred saw the barn, so there is that connection there. And now that his therapist sees the barn, right? you know, what's going to happen now? Like, is she going to take his side or is she going to not believe it? Like you said, Norton goes home alone on his apartment. You know? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Sets up all these booby traps and like... He wants to make sure that he doesn't get robbed again. You right, know? right. You don't know why somebody's coming after you, but you want to do what you can to protect yourself. I mean, Kevin McAllister did it. That's why he took down the wet bandits at <laughs> Home Alone. So Norton's kind of feeling the same way where he's just lost and scared. Norton, what's up? You know, like, hey, I saw the barn. Like, I'm scared. Now she's buying into his fear and his anxiety. Yeah, she's starting to believe him a little bit more. Yeah. She doesn't completely believe him, but, you know, now she's starting to believe him, you know. So at this point, basically, they're in Norton's apartment. They're discussing things. She says she's seen the black barn. And, and this the, dark figure, yeah. Right, and Norton tells her about the first time he saw the dark figure yeah. in the black barn. Or the dark barn, you know. So... You know, this is this is just like another element added to this whole thing. Like, who is this dark figure? What is it? Yeah, and I like at this point, you know, so we know that the Black Barn is what Norton is trying to build, you know, or find. You know, he's finding all these little pieces, the nails, the wood, all this stuff. It's all to build this barn. Right. And so I like that, you know, we know that the barn is the main thing that's tying all of these characters together. You know, mm -hmm. Father Fred, Norton, his therapist. You know, why is his therapist seeing the barn, you know? Right. What is the connection there? There. that's something i'm trying to figure out still you know, and that's like, like we were saying the overall question that we have for this story arc is what is this black barn yeah and what is the connection to these characters it finds this mysterious like folder that tom that uh father tom had hidden in the kitchen floor he pulls it out and he sees all this information about news articles and stuff about what had happened with a boy disappearing yeah a mysterious barn appearing from doc sutton who Sutton was basically the retired, uh, the Gideon Falls' retired uh, doctor. So he goes off to go visit him and finds out some very in interesting information from the doc, like about what's going on in Gideon Falls, why it's connected to the Black Barn, yeah. where the ba Black Barn came from. We fi also find out that he's also Clara's father, yeah. the sheriff's father. And of course, we understand that he's one of, a part of this secret group called the Plowmen, who are basically, you know, the protectors of our world from the Black Barn. We do learn that, uh, you know, there's there's a disturbance, a domestic disturbance going on, um, and uh, obviously, uh, Father Wilfred and Clara they take off. They go see what's going on, only to find uh, Joe Reddy uh, basically sitting in the dark in his home after he basically stabbed the deputy to death. You know, he's sitting there in the dark, you know, waiting for Father Wilfred. Yeah. As he's taken off down the road, they go after him into the field, you know, and as they go after him into the field, all they see is this outline of this giant square. Not just a square, it's actually the outline of a door. Yeah. So you start, you see the hinges and everything. Yeah. So it, that's cool, yeah. So it's definitely the doorway to the black barn. 
this is uh, kind of leading to the end of the Black Barn story arc, and right. we have Father Fred in the Black Barn. He's run after them. He has to get save Clara. Yeah, and so some weird stuff is really happening in the Black Barn. And overall, I just want to know what you know what's going to happen in the end. Are our characters going to make it out of the barn? Yeah, and you know, I want to know how these stories are going to intertwine together. You know, I want to see how Norton and Father Fred are going to come together. I'm curious to see how the therapist is going to play, you know, in all of this. Right. So comment below and let us know what you think of Gideon Falls so far. Let us know if you have any theories on Norton or the the series so far. Or what you think the Black Barn is in general. So... Thank you for watching and joining us here on Tox Comics. This was another great episode. Yeah, definitely. Had Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube. Yeah, subscribe to our channel. Help us out. And, you know, it'll make sure that you stay up to date on all of our upcoming videos. And don't forget about our social media. We're all across the board. That's right. Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget Instagram. <laughs> yeah, all right. Thanks Thank for you. watching. See you See next you time. See you next time.